Shortest path is perhaps the most well-known graph network problem. This video illustrates the use of the Dijkstra algorithm to solve a single source shortest path problem. The single source shortest path problem can be defined as follows. Given a source node, find the shortest path to every other node in a weighted directed graph. Consider the graph network shown below. This is a weighted and directed graph with the nodes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. The weights written above each line indicate the cost of traversing a particular edge. For this illustration, let's assume that the starting node or source is A. So we would like to find the shortest path to all other nodes from A. We will use the Dijkstra algorithm to do this. The first step is to initialize the distance values. The distance to the starting node is set as 0 and those to all other nodes is set to infinity. The second step is to calculate the distance from the starting node to the unvisited neighbors of the current node. In the first iteration, the starting node is the same as the current node. So in our case, this is A and its neighbors are all the nodes that we can get to directly from A. These are the nodes B and D. C is not a neighbor since we cannot get to C from A. Based on the weights, the distance from A to B is 2, while that to D is 4. For the next step, if this new distance is less than the old distance value in the table, then we update the value. Both the distances 2 and 4 are less than infinity, so we can update the values for B and D. Once we are done visiting all the neighboring nodes, we can mark the current node as visited. Let's also mark the current best predecessor node for B and D, which for both of these is currently A. Now we need to pick the next node to visit. The rule for this is that the next node should be the one which is the shortest distance from the starting node. This is B in our case. Now we repeat the steps 2 and 3 for B. The distance to get to D from the source via B is the distance to get to B from the starting point, which is 2 plus the distance to get to D from B, which is 3. So the total distance from the source node A to D via B is 5. This is greater than the current distance of 4. So based on the rule, we don't update the old distance and it remains as 4. In the case of E, the distance from source via B is 2 plus 4, which is lower than infinity. So we can update the distance and the predecessor node for E. Now that all the neighbors have been considered, we can mark B as visited. From here, we move to the unvisited node D since that has the lowest distance value. I'll repeat a few more of these till we get to node G. Now in the case of G, we'll see how a previous distance that is not infinity gets updated. So in this case, the distance to get to G from source is 8. The distance to get to H from G is 1. So the total distance from source to H via G is 8 plus 1, 9. Now this is lower than the current distance value of 16. So we update the distance to 9 and change the predecessor node from D to G and mark G as visited. The final table after visiting all the nodes and following the steps of the Dijkstra algorithm is as follows. Now that we have all the distances, another question would be to find the path that corresponds to each of these shortest distances. This is pretty straightforward, since we can use the predecessor node to construct this. So for instance, for the node B, the predecessor is A, which is the starting node. So the path is A followed by B. In the case of C, the predecessor is D, and the predecessor of D is A. So the path is A, D, C, so on and so forth. Now that we have the paths and distances, let's go to Kinetica to implement this. I've already created the graph that corresponds to the illustration that we saw just now. 
The input data for this graph looks as follows, with the start and end node for each edge along with the corresponding weights. Now let's go to the graph interface. Here you can see the underlying graph that we will issue the shortest path solver against. Let's go to the solver tab to create the API request for the solver. Let's select the graph that I've already created. The default solver is already set as the shortest path, so we don't have to change that. Next, let's set A as the starting node for the solver. Let's also assign a name for the results table. Now we are ready, so let's solve this graph. Okay, that worked. Let's go check the results out. The column name route represents the shortest paths from the source A to every other node in the graph, while the solver node cost column represents the distance value for that path. The paths, as we can see, match those that we calculated by hand. So to summarize, the Dijkstra algorithm can be used to find the shortest path from a source node to all the other nodes in a graph. We can use Kinetica's shortest path algorithm to find the shortest paths and their corresponding costs.